Hello and welcome to Media Rumble. I'm Chris and this is the Star Wars Senate. In the past week, it's been revealed that Lucasfilm had a teaser trailer for a Boba Fett movie prepared for Star Wars Celebration in 2015. Now this is huge news considering how high profile the director Josh Trank's exit from the franchise was. The fact that Lucasfilm were prepared to announce the film shows how confident they were in the film's concept. Lucasfilm wouldn't have been close to considering an announcement for this film if they didn't have everything they needed for it to be created. Now, it's difficult to gauge how far into production they were, but from what's been revealed in Entertainment Weekly, it was definitely enough for a teaser, and that wouldn't just be something that they would cobble together. Consider how many video game movies have been announced in the last decade. Uncharted, The Last of Us, Sly Cooper, Minecraft and even Five Nights at Freddy's. Now how many of them will actually be released? Maybe two? And up until this point it just seems to be delay after delay with the production being passed from team to team until it fades from existence. Now I'm not saying that a Boba Fett movie and a video game movie are in the same league here, but you have to consider the effect that a change of director or a change in production will have on the, the final product of the film or even just public opinion of the film. And this is what Lucasfilm have tried to avoid by cancelling the project before it can gain momentum. Now there would have been nothing worse for Lucasfilm than if they'd announced the film just before Josh Trank had his rant about Fox's interference in Fantastic Four. People would have been questioning the decision to hire Josh Trank, but by cancelling it just before an announcement, all was well in the galaxy and no harm was caused. Now what if this revelation has in fact caused harm? Now this has most likely opened people's eyes to the very real possibility of a Boba Fett movie. Now there's two real reactions I can think from this. There's a positive and hopeful reaction, then there's a very dismissive and negative reaction. Now neither are wrong and I can really see where both are coming from. On one side, people view Boba Fett as a man of mystery, a badass bounty hunter that can kill anyone he wants. While other people look at what Boba Fett content is available and think, is that it? He doesn't do anything apart from die. Now when you have that much of a division within your fan base, it could be a difficult thing to overcome, but it's not really a 50-50 split, so it's not something that they might even consider. Lucasfilm are really putting their necks out on the line here with these anthology films. They've never put out a live action film out with the saga, and even within the saga there's some films that are disliked. So to me, announcing a third anthology film is a bit similar to Warner Brothers announcing four more Fantastic Beasts movies. It's getting a bit ahead of themselves. And in particular, these anthology films should really be taken on a case by case basis. We've got another film coming after episode 8, which leads in to episode 9, so there's another couple of years before a third anthology film needs to come out. Announcing another movie on top of all of that could really lead to some fans being overwhelmed with the amount of releases. And when you look at The Force Awakens, the big draw for people was that we hadn't seen a Star Wars film in a decade. But in terms of announcing the film, Lucasfilm have been incredibly intelligent. They've kept strong and they've just shut the door on the Boba Fett movie after it took a substantial hit in order to just collect themselves. Now they really need to consider if a Boba Fett movie would be worth it. It's a formula which has been followed time and again. A popular side character gets their own movie and the very thing which made them great to begin with is found out to be something which can't carry a story and in the end becomes a real nuisance. To me, Boba Fett is an incredibly cool character, but he's cool because he's quite a mysterious personality and to go into depth with that would really ruin the illusion. In my opinion, it would be more worthwhile for Boba Fett to be the villain of another anthology film where he hunts down the protagonist and I think this could be a film which adds more to the mystery than it takes away. So should he get his own movie after all of this, or should he just stick to being a side character? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, I highly recommend subscribing to the channel where I try and upload a new Star Wars Senate every Saturday, and you can see in the last episode 
down there. And you can also see something that you might enjoy down here. And as always, thanks for watching the Star Wars Senate. May the Force be with you.